Alright, this is James Osmond, and today is Friday. Uh, Y'all are about to witness history. It's either going to be good or bad. This would be the very first time I've ever split a tractor literally in half. So, uh, it's been a little bit of work to get it to this point. I've, uh, I've had to take a lot of stuff off. Had to take the firewall out and all the electrical uh well it's a lot of work tell you what i've had to take off hydraulic lines and the starter had to come off but so i've got it to this point and uh let's see if i push on a tire oh yeah if i push on that tire i can make it roll just a little bit out so see if we can't split this thing i got wheel chocks here that need to move out a little bit I'll change this clutch out on this uh, John Deere. Clutch is locked up, it's not disengaging. The, uh, the throw out bearing's not pushing the clutch out, so I don't know what's wrong with the clutch, if it's locked up from years of not being used enough, but, so, as you can see, I'm just gonna push on the exhaust here, see if I can get it to roll out. And it's rolling a little bit. You can see how I have this set up, you know, kind of like walk like an Egyptian, right? See, got just some old PVC under there and uh, just a little bit of PVC there. So I need to, need to get that line up out of there, out of the way. But uh, there we go. It's, uh, it's in two pieces now. The uh, shaft is still engaged somewhat. You can see in here, let's see if I can get a better angle on it. Yeah, get out of the way, you stupid plug. There we go. Uh, you can see the uh, splines on that shaft and it has another inner shaft. Uh, I believe that inner shaft may go to the PTO, I'm not sure, but we'll see. Uh, these wheel chocks out a little bit more, about another foot. I want these wheel chocks here to go slow with it in case something happened and the back end fell off those bl blocks. This thing don't roll away. I am on a little bit of an incline here, so. But, uh, so, she's apart. I just have to, uh, have to take this line off, probably bend it up out of the way, or out of the way of this bracket here, which I may just be able to take that bracket off. If I take that bracket off, I may have room to get it out but uh so there we go splitting a john deere tractor into two pieces uh this line here is disengaged so all i gotta do is take this off here bend this tube out the way this little hose will bend out of the way for this bracket and this bracket and it'll be apart all i did was uh you know, I built me a little pad i cribbed it up now the cribbing i'm on unlevel ground and the cribbing did not equal out um to reach the bottom of this so what I did I got both my cribbing close and then I just let some air out of tires on each all four corners just let some air out of tires until it hit my cribbing and then when I started to separate it I eyeballed the gap here and the gap was a little bit tight at the top which meant that it needed to the front end needed to come down and the back end needed to come down to bring the top up so you know the middle up so I just let out a little bit more air till I got my gap good. And as you can see, I pushed on it and it just rolled right in and out. So if you do your part and get your cribbing correct, crib it up. You see how I just got the this uh, homemade jack I got just sitting on rollers down there. That's how you got to do it if you're not rich and you can't afford jacks uh, that are heavy duty enough to with big enough wheels to actually roll. And of course, you know, I'm out on a farm. As you can see, we got rows out here. And I'm just over here on the side working on a tractor. Y'all have fun. I'm going to move this line here, get this line out of the way, and finish her up, get this clutch changed out. Y'all have fun. <laughs> 